How's it going, people? Well, it, it's a week later, and my last uh, BOM reading uh, has gotten two views in a week's time. So, I think I need to do another one. Because <laughs> apparently, it just doesn't matter. I just want to finish this book. So I can say I did. Ah. Have myself a... Uh, these are some leftovers from past videos. I I know, I must seem like a terrible drunk, but I assure you, I do almost all my drinking on camera. Hmm. And that's the Pete's Wicked. Strawberry Blonde. Very wicked. Mm. Chapter 12 of the Book of Mosiah. And it came to pass that after the space of two years... Oh, Footnote, let's see here. Ah, about B.C. 148. About. <laughs> that Abinadi, that's that uh, Elijah knockoff <laughs> from the last chapter. Abinadi came among them in disguise. So he's a prophet in disguise. That's interesting. Kind of like Jesus after the crucifixion. Yeah, he just looked different every time somebody saw him. If he was alive, what was he scared of? Getting killed again? <sighs> that they knew him not, just like Jesus after the crucifixion. Uh, and he began to prophesy among them, saying... Thus hath, has the Lord commanded me, Abinadi. Well, you just blew your cover, dickhead. He's in disguise, and then he calls himself by name. <laughs> to the crowd, dickhead. <laughs> uh, this, this is him talking. Thus has the Lord commanded me, saying, Abinadi. Go and prophesy unto my people, for they have hardened their hearts against my words. They have repented not of their evil doings. Therefore, I will visit them with my anger. Yea, in my fierce anger. So it's the fierce anger he's going to use, not the other angers. <laughs> Will I visit them in their iniquities and abominations? A word from a past drinking game where there was nothing coming to pass. Now I feel compelled to drink to these. <clears throat> Yay! Woe be unto this generation. And the Lord said unto me, Stretch forth thy hand and prophecy, like he just said before, saying, Thus saith the Lord, mm. Mm. It shall come to pass, that's what the Lord said, <clears throat> that this generation, because of their iniquities, shall be brought into bondage. So more the same, more threats, and another generation goes by. And shall be smitten on the cheek. I hope they offer the other one. 
yea, and shall be driven by men, and shall be slain. And the vultures of the heirs, air, and the dogs, yea, and the wild beasts shall devour their flesh. Hmm. Such pretty pictures. And it shall come to pass that the life of King Noah shall be valued <coughs> even as a garment in a hot furnace. For he shall know that I am the Lord. And I need another beer. Pure delight. I'm feeling sacred right now. Like a plaster saint. Or a plastered saint. <laughs> mm. Nice. Strawberry blondes are nice, it turns out. Never dated one, but I drank one. <clears throat> Okay. And it shall come to pass that I will smite this people with sore afflictions. Yea, with famine and with pestilence. And I will cause that they shall howl all the day long. <clears throat> oh, God. Mm. That was good. Yea, and I will cause that they shall have burdens lashed upon their backs, and they shall be driven before like a dumb ass. Dumb ass! <laughs> That's verse 5 in chapter 12. A dumb ass. I love it. <laughs> that's, that's so profound. Mm. Ah, dumbass, that's where I left off. <laughs> and it shall come to pass that I will send forth hail among them, and it shall smite them. Hail! Uh, and they shall be smitten, because he smote them. So they're smitten. Yeah, Hemingway just probably would crap himself if he read this and die again. <laughs> uh, uh, they shall be smitten with the east wind. I mean, watch out when God's using the east wind. I mean, remember the book of Job? The devil didn't knock in the house of uh, Job's children. Uh -uh. That was God's wind. From the east. Watch out. <sighs> and insects shall pester their land also. It's the end of times. It's happening now. Every time I go anywhere, I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. It's the end of the world. <sighs> and devour their grain. Those insects. Other ones, probably. And they shall be smitten with a great pestilence. And all this will I do because of their iniquities and abominations. Much repetition there, uh, Mosiah. Mm. And uh, 
It shall come to pass that except they repent, I will utterly destroy them from off the face of the earth. Feel the love. Just suck his ass and he loves you. I think I'll pass. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's it's the seasonal affective disorder. The antidote is uh, making me silly. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Yet, they shall leave a record. Wait, he's saying that except they repent, I will utterly destroy them off the face of the earth. Yet, they shall leave a record behind them. <clears throat> That's like if and when at the same time. <laughs> so what you're saying is they have free will, but this is what's going to happen no matter what. <laughs> so much for free will. <sighs> they will leave a record behind them. I, I think I'm holding it. <laughs> oh, I'm so honored. It's such a fucking honor. <laughs> They'll leave a record behind them, and I will preserve them the record <laughs> for other nations. Like, God, maybe the one right now. Or maybe the one from the 1820s. <sighs> Which shall possess the land? Yeah, whoever lives here next, this is for them. Oh, lucky us. <laughs> Yea, even this I will do that I may discover the... Abominations of this people. Uh, to other nations, and many things did Abinadi prophecy against this people. Ah, oh, I really like this. Sam Adams, Blackberry, uh, Wit Beer, which I don't know what the fuck that is, but it sounds exotic. So, I'm gonna like it. Fucking drunk already. How'd that happen? Mm -mm. Yeah. <coughs> Whew. Gassy. Oh, damn, that's nice. Mmm. Folks, this is really nice. I think it's limited. Just saying. And it came to pass that they were angry with him for all that shit he was saying. <laughs> and they took him and carried him bound before the king. That's Noah. Without the boat and the animals. I'm not erect. Or the mountains of Ararat. Uh, they carried him bound before the king and said unto the king, Behold, we have brought a man before thee. Uh, that wasn't worth it. Uh, uh, who has prophesied evil concerning thy people? And Seth, that God will destroy them. And he also prophesied evil concerning thy life. And Seth, that th thy life shall be as a garment in a furnace of fire. You know, you could have said right about this time, they, they told him everything he said, instead of saying it all over again, which they do. On gold fucking must have. Did Joseph Smith have a forklift handy, I wonder? Uh, 
Oops. Uh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Concerning thy life, and saith that thy life shall be as a garment in the furnace of fire. That's where I got lost. Uh, and again, he saith that thou shalt be as a stalk, even as a dry stalk in the field. <clears throat> Ooh, that's much better. Even as a dry stalk of the field, which is run over by the beasts and trodden underfoot. <sighs> Feel the yawn coming on now. And again, he saith, Thou shalt be as the blossoms of a thistle. Aw, you gonna take that shit? <laughs> Which, when it is fully ripe, if the wind bloweth it, bloweth, it is driven forth upon the face of the land. And he uh, pretendeth, and he pretendeth the Lord hath spoken it. You mean you could do that? You mean you could you could say some a bunch of shit, pretend that God spoke it and write it in a book, and people will believe it? I I don't believe that. Anyway, that's what they said about it, Benedict. Uh, <laughs> and he saith, All this shall come upon thee, except thou repent and become, uh, and this because of thine iniquities. Whatever he's talking about, Noah. We, we don't know what he meant. <laughs> and now, O king, what great evil hast thou done? Or what great sins has thy people committed? That we should be condemned of God or judged of this man. Really? <laughs> and now, O king, behold, we are guiltless. And thou, O king, hast not sinned? Therefore this man has lied concerning you, and he has prophesied in vain. And behold, we are strong, and we shall not come into bondage, or be taken captive by our enemies. Yea, and thou, yea, thou hast prospered in the land, and thou shalt also prosper. That's what he said. Behold, here is the man. We deliver him into thy hands. Thou mayest do with him as seemeth thee good. Reminds me of childhood. Blackberries. And, and beer. <laughs> Most of it uh, borrowed. <laughs> and it came to pass that King Noah caused that Abinadi should be cast into prison. And he commanded that his priests should gather to get, uh, themselves together that they might hold a council uh, with them, that he might hold a council with them uh, what he should do with him. <clears throat> and it came to pass that they said unto, unto the king, Bring him hither, that he we may question him. And the king commanded that he should be brought before them. And they began to question him, and, that they might cross him, and thereby they might have wherewith to accuse him. But he answered them boldly, and withstood all their questions. 
Yay! To their astonishment, for he did withstand them in all their questions, and did confound them in all their words. And it came to pass that one of them said unto him, What meaneth the words which are written, and which have been taught by our fathers, saying, How beautiful, how beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth Peace that bringeth good tid that bringeth good tidings of good that publisheth the publisheth the salvation that saith unto Zion thy God reigneth. And thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing, for they shall see eye to eye, when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Break forth into joy or wind, whichever comes first. Sing together. Ye waste places of Jerusalem, oh boy, uh, for the Lord hath comforted his people. Wasn't he just going to kill them a second ago? No, he still is. That's right, but whatever. Oh, I think we're quoting Isaiah anyway. I didn't do any research. I'm rough. At, I'm winging these. <laughs> and I'm getting more incapacitated by the second. <sighs> Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord has comforted his people. He hath redeemed Jerusalem. I got it right that time. The Lord hath made bare <clears throat> his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations. And all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. That's right. I should have phrased that as a question. I got sidetracked. And now, Abinadi said unto them, Are you priests? And pretend to teach this people? And to understand a spirit of prophesying, and yet desire to know of me what these things mean? I say unto you, Woe be unto you for perverting the ways of the Lord. For if ye understand these things, ye have not taught them. Therefore ye have perverted the ways of the Lord. We know he doesn't like that. <laughs> Ye have not applied your hearts to understanding. There it is again, making your heart think for you. Join our cult. Search your heart. It tells you you want to do what we tell you to do. It'll make you happy. <laughs> we own your ass, but don't worry about that. Because you're going to live forever. Uh, ye have not applied your hearts to understanding. Therefore, ye have not been wise. Therefore, what teach ye this people? And they said, we teach the law of Moses. 
And again he said unto them, If ye teach the law of Moses, why do ye not keep it? Who's keeping notes? For this record, I'm just wondering. Who's keeping notes? Never mind. We'll just keep reading. I'll bring it up later. Uh, if ye teach the law of Moses, why do ye not keep it? Why do ye set your heart so hard upon riches? Why do ye commit whoredoms and spend your strength with harlots? Yea, and cause this people to commit sin that the Lord hath to send me to prophecy against you people in disguise. Yea, even a great evil against this people. Yea, know ye not that I speak the truth? <laughs> That'll work. Yea, ye know that I speak the truth. <laughs> and you ought to tremble before God. I need a drink now. And it shall come to pass that ye shall be smitten for your iniquities. <laughs> no. For ye have said that ye teach the law of Moses. And know what ye what know what ye concerning the law of Moses? Does salvation come by the law? of Moses? What say ye? And they answered and said that salvation did come by the law of Moses. But Abinadi said unto them, I know if ye keep the man commandments of the Lord, wait, commandments of God, ye shall be saved. Yea, if ye keep the commandments which the Lord delivered unto Moses in the mount of Sinai, saying, I am the Lord thy God, who hath brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other God before me. How about some after you? Just wondering. A nice chaser would be kind of cool. I could use a little paganism chaser with my, whatever, <laughs> a little, a uh, little Asherah with my Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever. Uh, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likenesses of anything in heaven above or things which are in earth beneath. Boy, they're trying to pad this book, aren't they? Not much new here. Now Abinadi said unto them, Have ye done all this? I say unto you, Nay! Ye have not. And have ye taught this people that they do, should do all these things? I say unto ye, you, Nay! Ye have not. And that's enough of that shit. I'll see you guys in 13, which isn't nearly as thirsty, unfortunately, but I'll think of something. Anyway, peace the fuck out and have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is, it's got to be better than this. Rain and more rain and a lot of fucking wind. I'm going out tomorrow, even if I got to use an umbrella. I need to take a fucking long ass walk. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video later. <laughs>